Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program must accept the integer n and x as the input and also we have to get the n integers then the program must print the count of sub arrays which have exactly x odd integers so the program will accept the integers n and x and also the n integers then print the count of subarrays which have exactly x odd integers so let us understand with our s case so here we have four integers and uh, x is 2 now we'll have the possible subarrays from this integers so the possible subarrays are this 3 4 then 4 3 then 3 1 then 3 4 3 4 3 1 3 4 3 1 so these are the possible subarrays so from this we have to check x for exactly two odd integers so here we don't have two odd integers we have only one so we'll not consider it so here also we don't have any odd integer so we'll move to the next subarray here we have three here also it is no here we have one so we don't consider it here we have only one odd integer here also same then here we have two odd integers so we'll consider them and we'll take into account so here we have two odd integers that is 3 and 3 so we'll consider it also then here we have two odd integers 3 and 1 then here we have three odd integers but not exactly two odd integers as x is 2 so we have the count to be 3 so the output will be 3 let us take our second test case so here we have 5 integers so the possible subarrays are 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, then 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. So in this possible subarrays, we are going to check for three odd integers. So here is no. As we know, we have only one odd integer here. Then here no, here also no, here also no. Then here we have only one odd integer. No, no, here also no, here also no. Here also we have only one odd integer. So we also no. It is same here. Then here also no here we have two odd integers but not three exactly so here also no then here also no so we don't have the subarrays satisfying our condition so we have to print zero as the output now let us implement our program First we'll get the integer n and x as our input then 
we will get our n integers using the array list then after that we will have the variable called sub array count which will help us to print the output of the program so sub array count equal to 0 then now we will iterate over the all possible subarrays so for length in range 1 comma n plus 1 so this will help us to generate the all possible subarrays with the length that is from 1 to n now we will iterate over the subarrays with the index so for index in range 0 comma n minus length plus 1 so we will iterate over the starting index of the subarray with lengths and now we will have the subarray equal to so here we will have the first subarray so this will give the subarrays of lengths then we will have the variable called odd count equal to 0 then we will check for the odd count x odd count in the array so if val mod 2 not equal to 0 that is if it is the odd number then we are going to increment odd count by 1 then if the odd count is equal to equal to ex then the sub array count will be incremented and at last we'll print the sub array count so we'll have a quick recap we are getting the integer n and ex then the n integers using array then we'll have the variable called sub array count which will help us to print the output then we'll iterate over all the possible subarray with the length from 1 to n then we'll iterate over the subarrays with using the start index of every subarray then we'll have the subarray so after that we have the variable called odd count so then we check for the odd number in the subarray so if it is odd number and it is ex the subarray count will be incremented now let us execute our program with our first test case so we have got the correct output that is 3 as we discussed in our logic video then we will pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output as you can see there are no possible subarrays with odd integers 3. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.